Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me here today. If you're new, I'm Amanda. Welcome to the channel where we are all about shattering the mental health stigma. Before we continue, make sure you make sweet, sweet love to that subscribe button so you're not missing any of my vlogs, any of my song reactions, or any of my celebrity interviews pertaining to mental health. Now you notice how I said all of that with a smile on my face. I have to be honest, I'm not smiling on the inside these last couple of weeks. And I wanted to check in because I think this is an important part of the mental health conversation. Obviously, a lot of us are conditioned to believe that we have to be happy all the time or we're not happy people. And despite the fact that I was decertified as having a serious mental illness last year, something that I was told was completely impossible, I am not happy all the time. And that doesn't mean I'm completely symptom free from my BPD or my depression or anxiety or any of that. There is depression after depression because a lot of people don't realize that there's clinical depression and there's situational depression. And I know what I'm going through right now is very much situational. There's been several uh, experiences, several situations in my life recently um, that have been really difficult to deal with and really traumatic. And because I'm human, at least I think I'm human, I have emotions in response to that. And it's been really hard for me to really find the energy. So here I am in my bed because I really just didn't have the energy to set up all of my equipment and the lighting and all that jazz. So I hope you're okay with me without the lighting. If it's a little shaky, I'm sorry. I'm not even using my camera. I'm just here on my camera phone because I wanted to, like I said, let you guys know where I'm at because I had a lot of people asking how I was doing uh, because I hadn't been posting a lot. I hadn't really been active. I had some people checking and asking how I was doing and I want to say when I'm not really doing so fabulous because that's a conversation most people don't have. Even when we were kids, you know, somebody asks, are you okay? And you just smile and say, yeah, that's what we're taught to do. It's just smile and say, yep, I'm okay. I'm good. And not really have the conversation. Well, right now, I'm not good. I'm not fine. I'm not great. I'm not okay. I will be. Um, I have not relapsed. I have not done anything harmful. But my thoughts are kind of in the realm of, God, I hate this. I hate this so much. I hate the world and I hate everyone in it. And I'm just really frustrated and feeling unfulfilled with my life. And things just seem really unfair. Um, and hurtful and painful and there's some days where I just go I don't know how to be strong anymore I don't know how to just keep trying and to just keep holding on and to just keep trucking along and I know I will get back to that point but right now it's really hard for me to hold space for these feelings because they've been very intense and a part of me almost feels like a fraud. Um, and that's why I haven't really put out anything in the last week is because I just feel like I'm supposed to be the strong person that people uh, turn to and listen to about happiness and about mental health. And I was afraid that if I said anything, then it would make my experience of my healing journey less meaningful. And... I knew deep inside that wasn't the truth. I know that people need to see that everyone struggles. It isn't who struggles, it's when and for how long and how often. Everybody struggles and everybody has emotions, everybody feels sadness, everybody feels anger, everybody feels this gamut of, of human feelings. Unless you're a psychopath or a sociopath, that's a whole different story. But the majority of people feel and it's okay, especially in response to really difficult situations. And I don't really have anything really insightful or fantastic to say today, but I just wanted to be honest and I wanted to know that it's okay to say when you're not feeling fantastic, even when you're feeling depressed. I'm not gonna lie, I've been feeling pretty crummy. I wouldn't say depressed, I don't know that that's particularly the right term, the right expression, but I have been feeling bouts of hopelessness. I have been feeling bouts of why am I even doing this? And I've really been having to make a conscious effort to combat that 
because it is worth combating and trying to just wake up and do a gratitude practice even if I hate the paint on the walls and I hate everyone around me and I hate my bed and my pajamas and my face and just even when you fall into that self-loathing just trying to almost fake it till you make it I'm not saying don't express and don't talk about what you're going through but for me sometimes I do have to just go through the motions and say okay you know what I'm not feeling particularly grateful right now but I know doing this gratitude practice will help in the long run or I'm not feeling particularly energetic right now but I'm gonna do a little yoga session just to just to get my blood moving you know even if you can't be at 100% just doing something that you know is going to have a positive effect even if a small positive effect it doesn't have to be mind-blowing it doesn't have to be okay it's gonna fix everything right now because I'm not broken I'm just struggling and the more we look at emotion sadness bouts of depression mental health as long as we're looking at that as a problem that needs to be fixed as long as we're looking at emotions as okay well I'm not supposed to feel or I don't want to feel the emotions on this side of the spectrum there's going to be a problem because you can't avoid those emotions and those feelings and we need to feel them in order to process difficult situations so we can't just choose to be over on this side of the emotional spectrum all the time we have to honor in whatever way uh, the different things that come up in our lives so even while I'm here in this uh, the world is just I feel like I'm in a reality show and they're in the middle of season five and they're just really desperate for ratings just crazy stuff just keeps happening to me um, and they're just really hoping to get viewership and I'm trying to to just roll with it you know and go okay on today's episode of the Amanda show what what are we gonna have to have to move through what are we gonna have to uh, confront or face today so I've been trying to have fun with it but it gets frustrating when things just compound and you feel like the sky is falling and there's a little bit of me that's felt that way lately uh, but I did want to come and be honest and open because I know that's what everyone expects from me is honesty and openness because like I always say this is how we shatter the mental health stigma it's okay to just feel like crap and it's okay to go through bouts of sadness depression anger grief it's okay um, and I know that everyone here on this channel is just so loving and supportive and I know that you will be here for me and I hope that I can be there for you and let's let's just talk let's just have this conversation check in down in the comments below well, let me know how you're feeling if you're feeling great awesome I'm still so happy for you um, and I, I know that you're going to be sending me some of that positive energy if you're feeling kind of glum that's okay I hope that we can build each other up if you're like me and you're just having that really struggling moment like I said, check in here and we are going to hold each other up because that's what this community is all about. So thank you for holding space for me, the good, the bad, and the kind of crazy. I love you guys so, 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 so much. Mwah!